Kotlin output. We shall use print ln and also the function print to send outputs to the standard output that is our screen or console. Difference between print ln and print will be that in case of print, print it prints the string inside the codes, it calls system.out.print function internally. So, here you see whenever, whenever you are calling this print internally system.out.print function is getting called and when you are calling this print ln and this function prints string inside the code similar like the print function then the cursor moves to the beginning of the next line. So, it is having a trailing new line character and it calls system.out.print ln function internally. So, in this way that is a basic a very small difference between this print function and print ln function. Let us go for one demonstration where we shall show you that usage of these functions in our Kotlin code. Demonstration is for you. So, in this program we are going to uh, discuss what is print ln and what is a print function which will produce the output of a Kotlin program. So, this is our print ln. In case of print ln, the string which is going to get printed will have one trailing new line character got added automatically. So, the next line will be starting from the next row, but in case of print there is no trailing new line character. So, the next line will be starting getting printed on the same line. So, here is the output for us. So, we can find this hello and this world has got printed in separate lines, but this hello and world they have got printed in the same line. Now, to have to have the more idea regarding this print ln, we should we should keep our uh, cursor on this print ln, we can press control click, control left click, you can go to the respective declaration. You can find that print ln is actually this function is internally calling System dot out dot print ln. and here it is message colon any any is that class which is the super class of all the classes in Kotlin. So in case of Java we had that class that is known as the class object. So from all the classes are getting inherited from the object class. So in case of Kotlin all the classes are getting inherited from the any class. So that's why this any is there, and System dot out dot print ln has got called and it is defined under console.kt. So, how to go to the declaration? One way we have discussed that is control mouse left click. So, that is one way. Otherwise, you can uh, go for right click, you can go for go to then declaration. Otherwise, you can click on this, you can have the shortcut control B. So, if we, if we put our uh, cursor here and if you go for control B, you can find that this print function is calling system.out.print as the message as the respective function and with this message as input argument. So, that is our that is our print ln and print and what are the differences we have discussed that one into details. Thanks for watching this video.